did you even get in here? Guy up front let me in. Oh, big guy with the mustache? Kinda sweaty? Yep. Well, that's Todd's final strike. Hope he enjoys early retirement. Oh, no need to get anyone in trouble. He, uh, definitely checked my ID and even did a pat-down. Really thorough. So Todd's all right in my book. I feel very safe in his big, sweaty hands. Fine, whatever. Anyway, you're going to need to fill out your information on this and sign a bunch of waivers before you can begin training today. And when you're done with all that, there's actually a fun part. You get to design your wrestling gear in case you become a WWE superstar. You mean when I become a WWE superstar? Yeah, sure. Wait, have you been filming this entire time? Is that a problem? Filming's not allowed in here without prior consent, which you should have been told by security. Frickin' Todd! Turn it off, please.
You done with all that yet? Just finished. It takes time to design a look like that. Eh, I have seen worse. So now what? Should I go wait at the front desk with you until it's time to start? Front desk? What do you think I do here? I'm Corey Klein, head recruiter and occasional babysitter of people who don't follow instructions and show up way earlier than they're supposed to. Oh, that Corey. I guess when we were emailing, I just saw your name and assumed that... You know what? It's nice to meet you in person, finally. Go get changed. Then head over to the gym. The other trainees who started last week should be showing up soon. And to clear up any potential confusion on your end, they are men. Got it. Thanks. Hey, new guy, right? I'm Hector Flores. Welcome to the PC. Thanks. I'm excited to get going. Especially since I heard you started last week. It started here, at least. I've been training in wrestling for years before this. It's part of growing up in Mexico. Are you from one of those famous wrestling families? No, where I'm from, you were either into wrestling or football. Sorry, soccer. I chose wrestling. I played soccer when I was a kid, but there wasn't enough punching. So eventually I got into MMA. There was a lot more punching. So why make the switch from MMA to wrestling? Let's just say I didn't treat my sparring partners too kindly. It got to a point where no one would train with me. I guess letting a rabid animal out of his cage only two or three times a year will do that. So tough guy with possible anger issues wants to find new way to get paid. Is that about right? Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. That okay with you? I guess we'll find out.
Hey, who are you? First day training here. It's nice to meet you in person. Since I transitioned from MMA to wrestling, I've been watching a lot of your matches from Japan. And when I heard you were here, I was excited to get in the ring with you. Yeah, well, you better act fast since I don't plan on being here too long. Why is that? Because they should have never sent me here to begin with. I don't belong in the same place as someone just crossing over from MMA or some stupid former mascot. If you haven't met that goon yet, don't bother. You know who else crossed over from MMA? Sonya Deville, Shayna Baszler, Riddle. And I'm going to be bigger than all of them. Bigger tool? Maybe. Bigger star? No chance. For every success story, there's a thousand guys that never made it. Like I said, I don't plan on being here very long. But I look forward to making sure you end up in the category no one's heard of. Too late. Because a lot more people have watched me knock people out than have ever seen you wrestle. Just because I'm new to this game doesn't mean I haven't played the game. Don't test me, or you won't like the results. I heard you were starting today. Big fan. Thanks. You a big MMA fan? No, not really. I just love that viral video of the fight where you got knocked out in like two seconds. <laughs> Hilarious. Anyway, I'm actually crossing over from another sport too. I spent some time in minor league baseball. Really? Who'd you play for? Well, I, I wasn't a player. I was actually a mascot named Ribby. But I was around a ton of good athletes. Oh, okay. Well, that counts for something, I guess. The best part of the job was they used to have indie wrestling shows at the stadium all the time, where I got to rub elbows with legends like Jerry the King Lawler. He found out I was training on the side as a wrestler and actually helped me get a shot here. Not that I couldn't have made it on my own. Even if Lawler helped get your foot in the door, you wouldn't be here if you weren't talented. I'll see you out there in a bit. Sounds good, buddy. Oh, and before I forget, can you sign something for me before you leave today? Sure. Just as long as you don't sell it online. Ah, well, then you know what? I can get it some other time. I'm just messing with you. If you can make a few bucks, then good for you. And literally, it might only be a few bucks. <laughs> see you out there, Chase. I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. The rest of you have heard this speech already, so we'll try to make it quick. On our first day, he did the whole ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages thing. It was awesome. We'll do the talking, Chase. I was just telling him about your cool DX intro you did. Chase! What Road Dog was getting at is we are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. 
What you do with it is up to you. Keep in mind, you will be judged at all times. The big man in the sky is always watching. Not that big man. There's a camera up there with a live feed that goes directly to Triple H's office in Stamford. The coaches and PC staff certainly have input, but ultimately, he'll decide when the time's right to bring the GMs from NXT, Raw, and SmackDown here so you can showcase your talents. <laughs> I'm ready for that now. Yeah, we know you think that, but it's not your call, big shot. Okay, now that all that's out of the way, we're gonna start with some one-on-one -on -one matches to see where everyone's at. All right, new guy? Since it's your first day, we'll let you choose who you want to face. Okay, let's get started.
before you say anything, do you really think you just got everything I had? It's obvious I shouldn't be here. So I'm not gonna give 100% in a training match against a nobody. Cool. Is that what you're gonna tell Triple H? Because he probably won an explanation for why the hottest free agent signing since AJ Styles just lost to a nobody. Triple H wasn't watching our match. The coaches just say that to scare you rookies. You think so? Because I'm pretty sure after I beat you, I looked up at the camera and saw it zooming in on me. Probably Triple H wondering who this rookie was who just showed him they're wasting a crap ton of money on an overhyped bust. Face me when it really counts, and we'll see what happens. Here's the thing. I think it already did, and we saw what happened. But I'm happy to give Triple H a replay anytime.
Ah! Uh, here comes the two-time Hall of Famer. The best there is, the best there was, the best there ever was. Looking into the eyes of this competitor tonight, you know he understands the significance of this match. This is an opportunity to make big headway on the roster. We've got Canada's favorite son on the other side. There's no question Hart's an elite strategist, but will the hitman be able to carry out his plan as he devised it? Or is he going to have to make adjustments during the course of the match? I seriously doubt Brett is having any feelings of distress, Corey. Hart is so versatile that calling it audible is second nature to him. Yeah. Running knee lift. Oh, that hurt. 
Hart is being stifled in this one. Rare to see the Hitman baffled like this. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Retaliation from the Hitman. Evades the attack. Right to the gut. Ah, oh, side coming. Jumping knee strike. I like that. Here's the cover. Only a one count before the kick out. I didn't think this match was close to over. That's mounted with punches. And not. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. He's executing on his plan perfectly. You can tell he's firing up. Hitman expected that. First one missed. Second one didn't. Effective. Oh, kick right to the back. Man, what a strike. He's one step ahead there. Brett finally creates some more offense for himself. Good chance for Brett to gain his wits about him. Ring post figure four by Bret Hart. Whoa. Hitman never saw that coming. Wow! Into the ring again. Three! Yeah. The counter! German suplex! But that's not all! for the hitman. Perched on the shoulders. Feast your eyes. Good time to capitalize on Brett. Cover. One, two, three. And that'll about do it, folks. Here is your winner, D. Daddy. Daddy. And that seemed like a pretty easy... The following contest is a handicap match. Listen, this is pure electricity. The leader of the attitude era the rattlesnake the biggest hit
When you're facing a numerical disadvantage in a handicap match, how can you overcome it, Corey? You don't overcome the disadvantage, you eliminate it. And how are you supposed to do that? By taking one of your competitors out using anything at your disposal. When your opponent loses their numerical superiority, the advantage shifts back to you. Oh, he has the answer for the rock. Yeah, Man, just a multitude of strikes. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. Shoulders! Oh, 